welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, God's Greatness. Whether shall I go from thy spirit, or whether shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning, and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. Psalm 139, 7-10 C.S. Lewis wrote, God is the creator behind all creation. God is the designer behind all design. God is the law maker behind all law. God is the supreme fact of history. God is the supreme fact of science. God is the supreme fact of philosophy. God is the mighty God, personally and actively present in the affairs of the universe. God is the great need of the human heart. God is the great need of the vast creation in which we live. Let's look at some of God's attributes. His word said he is eternal, intelligent, holy, good, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. Moses in Exodus 15 summed it up like this. Who's like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. When considering his great works, the psalmist exalt the earth to praise him for his mighty acts. He states from one generation shall praise thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. The first verse in the Bible is much quoted, yet often underestimated. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Have you ever thought about the ramifications of that verse? The psalmist puts it this way. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showed forth his handiwork. God's great power demonstrated in nature is magnificent. If one would begin his contemplation of God by taking into effect all the marvels that surrounds us, we would stand in utter amazement of our great God. We look up at the expanse of the universe. God looks down on it. We measure the distance of the planets with our sophisticated scientific instruments. God measures them with the span of his hand. We rely on the heat and the light of the sun for our very existence. In antiquity, God set it ablaze and hung it in place. It takes light over 117 sextillion years to reach us from the furthest point known to man. <laughs> However, Jesus will cover a greater distance than that in a moment in the twinkle of an eye. The psalmist declared, He alone doeth great wonders. He by wisdom made the heavens. He stretched out the earth above the waters. He made the sun to rule by day and the moon and the stars to rule by night. Is it any wonder that the Jews of the Old Testament held God in such high esteem that they would not even mention the name Jehovah, thinking it was too high and too holy for human lips to utter? I sum it up all to say, How great is our God! The thought of the day. The first verse in the Bible is much quoted, yet often underestimated. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. God bless you today. In Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey, we make a